Good afternoon from the train station here in Baghdad. It's been a while since I've caught a train. I, off the top of my mind, I think the last time was maybe in India just before COVID. So over, gee, almost two years ago now. So uh, yeah, we're doing the overnight train. We're heading to Basra, which is around a 12 hour journey. Uh, let me just say, ah, oh, Habibi. <laughs> I was just about to mention, the past like two to three hours have been so funny because we've uh, been talking to some military people, eating food with them, and there's uh, one in front of me. I won't put him on video, but I'll, uh, I'll play some of those, those clips right now. Kellogg'sor, <laughs> Kellogg'sor. All right, Mac, take the uh, king seat. Oh, I get the king seat. Oh. Malak seat, Malak. Reyes, Reyes. Oh, Ray, Reyes, Reyes. <laughs> oh wow, look at this feast that we got. What do we got? Falafels, french fries, we got some rice, and then uh, that looks like chicken something. Falafel. Uh, Habibi, Kellogg's. Look at this. Cheeky oh. falafel. Let's give it a taste test. Oh, nice and warm. Mm. How good is this, Matt? That's a Zane falafel. Zane falafel. Zorda Horsh or Zane, as you say down here mm. in Iraq. Oh, spot on. Let's get some of this fresh delicious. chicken off the mm. bone, like that. Oh. oh, I don't think it's chicken. What meat is that, Mac? Do you know? It looks like lamb. lamb. Yeah, it's it's, lamb. Uh, it's yeah, dark yeah. meat, Sheep, yeah. not white meat. All right, let's do it. Let's give it a taste test. This is the uh, the full Iraqi meal here. This is what we call um, uh, Zain. Zain. Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. No, it's not only hamdi. Shukran, Habibi. Got some chai. Let's give it a taste test. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Zane. That is so delicious. Anyways guys, we met some friendly locals here and as I said, we're heading down to Bastra. It's been a pretty fun past couple of hours. Currently it's around 5 p.m. We got here at about 2 p.m. and we literally spent like two and a half hours just hanging out with the military, eating food with them, chatting, uh, chatting to them about life and all that. And then they helped us out and got us the tickets. Uh, we're getting first class, which I believe there actually is only like one cabin. So it's like two beds, me and Mac, one up the top, one up the bottom. And it was, uh, what, 25,000 Iraqi dinar per person. So around 15 uh, USD or around 20 or so Australian dollars. So going to be a fun journey. I think it's a 12 hour journey down to Basra and then we arrive at around 7 a.m. So leaving here at 7 p.m. on the dot, as I've heard, they are strict with the timings and everything. So here's our ticket. I can't read anything apart from a six, seven, and A. <laughs> and uh, obviously the numbers there, but the rest is all in Arabic. So hopefully uh, we're right in saying that's platform number seven. Well, yeah, let's go on this journey, guys. I'm excited. I haven't caught a train for a very, very long time, as I said. So they're always fun, checking out the different kind of styles, getting the different kind of beds and all that kind of stuff. So yalla. Let's go on the journey down to Basra. So this one's from China. I think that's the one that we're catching. He said these two are from uh, Russia and that one's from Armenia. So this one's definitely the more modern of the most. These ones are, are very similar, honestly, to the ones that I've caught in India, like southern, southern parts of India, like Kerala, uh, Tamil Nadu and, and Goa, those kind of places. <laughs> I honestly love these trains. They're always like such a good time meeting all the locals, you get uh, four beds, sometimes you can get six beds. Uh, yeah, it's always just good. But it's gonna be interesting. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever caught one like first, first class. Like this is the best ticket you can get. All right guys, quick little update. <laughs> we met like four more soldiers and one of them actually is coming on the train with us to uh, Basra. But there's a little convenience store just over there. And uh, they're like, you know, let's go get some food. Obviously it's like in broken, very broken English. So we just thought, oh, you know, we'll go and buy some stuff, right? So we end up, you know, picking out our goods. Got some chockies in there, some water, some fresh lemonade, some good old Twix and that. And then I'm, I'm like going ham, you know, because uh, thinking, oh, you know, I'm gonna pay for this. Uh, you know, it's a 12-hour journey. We need to stock up on some goodies. 
and then we get to the counter and they're like no like and I, I like insisted for like two minutes straight because I had a lot of stuff I was like let me get this I, I need to pay for this I need to pay for this and like they're like no 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 they're like pulling me out I'm like oh my god can't really do much when people with uh, AK-47s are trying to uh, give you free food so the uh, hospitality here is honestly like next level I feel so safe everyone's so kind uh, I already felt safe beforehand but now it's just like just, uh, just it's uh, humbling you know just the hospitality here is just absolutely incredible it's been a good journey so far so I'm excited to actually hop on the train and head on down to Basra yalla guys all the bags are lined up so uh, actually a K9 unit they're yes. sniffing right yeah. just to detect any uh, bombs and drugs yeah. yeah so super secure you are uh, your safety is guaranteed here so our bags are just there we got military and everything so if anyone is questioning safety here you're uh, you're a fool I've never felt more safe in my life. I now. know, right? Yeah, we've got guards here. We're getting everything sniffed. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, safety's number one here. All right, guys, bags are being checked uh, currently, but uh, we got asked to put on shorts. Uh, so my suggestion is to put on some long pants if you're coming here. But actually, because we have the the private, I guess first class, uh, what's it called, sleeper cabin, right? Uh, we actually like don't have to so if you're in the general public area then you have to like put on uh, full covered clothes and everything but because we have the uh, the full cabin to ourselves you can wear whatever you want and also because we're like best friends with the military now <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> they hooked us up they uh, you know let them uh, go so you know if you want to be safe wear long pants uh, it might be getting a little bit chilly it's starting to uh, get a little bit dark sun has set so it's getting a little bit colder but yeah if you want to wear uh, long pants go the safe route uh, bags are uh, being checked. Where's the little doggy? I think it's uh, somewhere. But uh, yeah, see what happens, eh? All right, where's our bags going? Where are they? And now everybody's off to the train. Oh, it's heavier every time I lift it. Yalla, yalla. All right, shukran, shukran. shukran. All right, we're yelling to the train. Habibi! 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 Keep up! Keep up! Yalla! Alright guys, we're making our way to the train. Look at that. So cool. And we got our friendly locals helping us out. And the uh, military guy I showed just before, he's actually the one that's coming to Basra with us. I'm not sure whether he that was like planned because of us or if he actually like lives down there kind of thing. But the train's pretty noisy. I can hear it loudly, loud and clear. I can hear it. It's noisy. It's really noisy. <laughs> hopefully we're not there, and hopefully we're down that end. <laughs> Man, people are so friendly out here, honestly, and so helpful. Habibi, shukran. And this one looks like us. Oh, look at this. Oh, glass. And here's the door. Oh. All right. So we got a four better one, like that. Another Get four better. No, okay. Thank you. Nice. Ticket. Hey. Tickets. Tickets. Okay. Perfect. Looks comfy. Ah, oh. oh, well, oh, they slide out. Shukran. Habibi, what looks so? Shukran. Shukran, Habibi. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody. Well, I thought we booked the one with uh, just two. But that means we get two other people in here, so we can meet yeah, some uh, meet some people. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we got the two uh, bottom ones here. Six. C and A, I think, but hopefully, if we're a little bit cheeky, no one else will come in here and we can sleep wherever, wherever we want. We can put our bags wherever we want. But first impressions oh, that pillow is super hard. What about this one? Oh, that one's nice and soft. Oh, you've chosen the wrong bed this time. Hey, you can't win them all, all right? <laughs> all right, what's going on up here? Oh, it's all right, we can swap a pillow out oh, there we go. before the, the neighbors arrive. Yeah. 
We got super fluffy uh, dunas here. Look how sick that is. And then I don't know how you're meant to get up on the top if you're at the top. Do you stand on here to get up? I don't know. All right, so I figured it out. This is uh, how you get up to the top. These things just- I thought that was a cup holder. No, man. <laughs> That's your foot, foot rest to get up the top. All right. Hey, there's a buddy. Ah, ah clothes. Ah, this one, this one. Uh, this no, Mac, this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Habibi. <laughs> oh, my. All right, now we've got the private area. But, so there's actually TVs in here. You can turn them on. How did you turn this one on before, Mac? I think it just comes on. It comes on. Yeah, there, oh, there we are. Slow starter. This one. Uh, oh, it wasn't kidding. It. Jeez, I got gypped on the pillow. <laughs> just snag one at the top. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know if we have other people coming in here. Yeah. But what can you do with this TV? You can hit settings. That's about it. You got uh, what are these buttons? Volume up, volume down. You got call, nightlight, uh, LCD two. Oh, that's that one. I don't know. But yeah, this is this is our home for the next twelve hours. I think <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting one, eh? All right, guys, it's not your hotel, but there is a bed that we're gonna have to test. So, it feels pretty hard. It's obviously like a seat that is also turned into, apparently you can pull this out, yeah, like that, and you get the extra uh, bed space, just like that. So, that's the bed. Let's uh, give it a, a test, right? Oh, all right, nice. Well, well, well. What are the first thoughts? First thoughts, pillow is damn good, as I said. I'm lucky to have gotten this one and not the plastic one, I think. Mac has since switched out, but it actually doesn't seem too bad. This cushion, or this uh, this doona at the bottom, this blanket. You know what I'm gonna do, if nobody else comes up here, I'm gonna steal two of those, chuck this one down the bottom, add a bit of extra uh, padding, and then use another one as uh, the actual blanket that you sleep with during the night. So that's the game plan, I think, if uh, nobody else is using these upper beds. And I think that would be quite the nice bed, if you are, if you ask me, so. I think it should be a pretty good sleep to be honest. Better, it's, it's definitely better than some hotels <laughs> I've stayed at, you know, like uh, Hotel Blue Sky in this long I had to leave that in the middle of the night. So this definitely tops that. And yeah, hopefully uh, it'll be an exciting journey as we head down to Basra. All right guys, so here is the bathroom in, uh, in the train. Let's close that up. First thoughts is uh, number one, look, <laughs> this is a bullet mark. You can see, or at least, I mean, that's what it appears to be like. Or maybe somebody's throwing a stone at it. But here's the toilet. You got the squat toilet. Luckily, we got the bum gun here. I mean, I'm always happy when there's a bum gun. So that's a 10 out of 10 bathroom for me. But we got some water. Uh, any uh, soap in here? No, just water and uh, a shave, a plug in if you need to get a quick shave while you're here. So pretty cool. I'm gonna go to the bathroom quickly and then we'll get on with this journey. Yalla. Alright, we're going to the specialty cabin, right? Yeah. Our military buddy knocked on the window and put up a cup of chai and we're like, let's go get some chai. <laughs> so now we're walking through all the cabins. Oh, there's a cafeteria. Salam alaikum. Oh, we got snacks. Snacks and tea. This is where the magic happens. Wow, strawberry. Mini cakes, you got a little bit of everything, the good stuff. What are these? Money? Oh, that's the Australian. Oh no, that's the, the Queen, that's on the Australian coin. Oh. <laughs> those are imports. <laughs> yeah. Fake, fake. All right. Yeah, yeah, shy. Two, please. Yes, please, thank you. But we got families out in the back. Yeah, eating food, eating dinner, getting their snacks in before the train departs. Look at all that. And then in here. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Oh, look at that fresh chai being poured. Thank you, guys. But there is like a cheaper way to do that. Alright, let's give it a taste test. There is a cheaper way Damn good and damn hot. That's good, that's good. All right. So look how cool these seats are. They're uh, attached to the walls and you just, it's like a booth. You just chill there, sit at the, uh, the counter, 
and then drink your tea. Uh, nice, nice hot tea. It is going to be like 120 degrees Celsius. Yeah. <laughs> that is, it's a hot tea. But we're going to get used to it after uh, enough teas here in Iraq. I've lost about 30% of my taste buds already. Is that like that's that a, patch, you know, if you burn it, it's just like... Yeah. It feels like a cat's tongue. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fair, fair, fair point. But you got to make the sacrifices when the tea tastes this good. So, it's worth it. Yeah. Alright guys. We are... Uh, well, it's blocked by another train. But we're officially on the move. Oh yeah. We are rolling. Look at this. Going past the other train. Alright, we got another. Oh, it's so hot. We got another cup of chai. Here. We're in the army's cabin. Boat. Zor horse. Zain. Zain. Iraqi T. Zain. Abu Hamid. What does that mean? <laughs> We're trying it here. Fresh. Uh, My name fresh. is Abu Hamid. Your name? My name is Abu Hamid. Abu Mayed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, in, we're in his cabin, we were heading back to our cabin uh, to sleep, but we got brought in here and now we're getting served chai. The cabin's like a hot box, there's cigarettes everywhere. <laughs> on a nice non-smoking chain, train, but you do whatever you want when you're in the military. Zane. Zane. <laughs> he, he was curious about my hand, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Firework. La la. India. 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 Yeah. Winning. Uh, when in Iraq, you gotta start smoking cigarettes as well. Good. Yeah. Good. Oh my God. What an hour, wow. bro. I'm a little, a little tired from that because there was a lot of absolutely zero communication. They were yelling a bunch of stuff at us. We had no idea from asking us if we're CIA. I'm pretty sure they think we're in the military and yeah. fair play to them. We're both wearing green shirts. We don't have a tour guide in Iraq. I have th four and a, three and a half fingers and every, like literally nobody ever noticed this, like my fingers and stuff. Like very rarely do people see it. But like today, like five people have seen it and they're all been army. So they're obviously, you know, on point with kind of like seeing things. So man, and the, some of the guys, they showed us like their tattoos and stuff, their army yeah, tattoos yeah. and they had, they had, um, bullet marks. It was like scars. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that was the one thing that saved us because we don't have any tattoos except for like one on my wrist. Yeah, Cause yeah, like, you know, a lot of people in the army have tattoos and stuff. Five, five. And uh, what? Five, five. Five, five. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, like it. Uh, what's the name? Done. Perfect. Thank you. Shukran for the mic. Okay. Hold me. Two in the room. Room. Yeah. Two. Two in the room. Only. Two. Perfect. Only. Okay. For the good children. Don't uh -huh, to uh -huh. stay. Two, two. two. One, two. Only two. two. Okay. Yeah. To stay. Yalla. Well, good. Don't. Okay. Good. Okay. Shukran. And uh, give the money. Uh, and give the money. Uh, for a okay, for uh, money. Uh, money, okay. how much? How much? How much? Uh, 13. 13. 13 dinars. Two, One, two, thirteen. Uh, uh, who? 10 dinars to you. To you. To you. Ah, uh, 13. Uh, 13. I'll open up my handy dandy police wallet. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so 13, I only got a 25 spot. Is a 25 ski gonna work? Good. Yeah. Good. All right, that'll, that'll work, yeah? Good. All right. Sweet, we just bought our tickets again. Shukran. Shukran. No. <laughs> okay. okay. So now we're good. Thank All you right. very much. Yeah, Thank you. Yalla. Good luck and Shukran. good luck. Thank you very much. Ah, ah nice. He showed us how to lock it. Yeah. So we're safe. Okay. Shukran. Good luck and good luck. Okay, bye. Lock it. Ice up. <laughs> yes, we're locked. <laughs> Bro, what the, what the hell is going on? I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> what? Why did we pay 25k? <laughs> I have no idea.
<laughs> it was basically telling us to pay 13k, which is such a random number, so it seemed kind of legit. And then I thought we had a knock. And then I was like, oh, 25k. Well, I'll take it. Maybe we paid for the tees. I don't know. It's weird though, because when we were when we were in the alley cabin. People just kept on bringing in money and giving it to that guy that was just sitting next to me. You noticed that, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like they were making money off like. Uh, yeah, I, I told Mac, I was yeah. like, "Oh, we're the zoo animals," because there were like people like waiting outside, like taking photos of us. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like we're the we're the zoo animals, yeah. and he's charging. He's the zookeeper. He's charging buddy two thousand a pop. <laughs> yeah, it's a good business model. Then he comes in and shakes us down for another twenty five k. Yeah. I don't know. Oh jeez, what a day. This is. Uh, it's one of those travel memories that'll go down in history. Literally. Good times though. Nothing bad though. Like this is just uh, exciting. Yeah. It's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Alright, well, we're locked. We can finally get some sleep. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> well, um, you're probably wondering where Mac is. <laughs> so we've had this door locked, right? So you can only open it very slightly. As uh, he showed earlier, you can only open it like a. Like 10 centimeters. Mac was on the phone changing his flight actually. He's flying a little bit later out of uh, Iraq. Anyways, the the, uh, the original army officer was there. And I was like, I was like, you know, like he's on the phone, he's on the phone. Like, <laughs> be quiet. I sh dead, dead ass. I wish I got this on video. But he holds his pistol, it's a Glock. And he's like, got it through this little crack. He's waving it around. And <laughs> Mac is like, at the beginning, Mac was just on the phone. And then we're just like, oh my God, like there's a Glock like hanging through the bloody gap. Uh, this doesn't explain why Mac isn't here though. <laughs> so we unlock it and start talking to him. I'm like kind of like half in bed, but they, they told Mac uh, to chuck on some uh, long pants and I'm guessing they go into like the general compartment or something. And then Mac was like, all right, let's go. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in bed. And I was like, Mac, if you want me to come for your uh, safety, considering the Glock was just pulled out and shoved through our uh, crack in the door. I'll be happy to come. He's like, well, you know what? If we made it this far, uh, and then worse, well, even worse is that when Mac went to grab his uh, camera, which is there, the uh, the officer said la la la. <laughs> so, I don't know. I was like to Mac, I'm like, man, if you want me to come, I'll come, uh, just for like security reasons, because God knows what the hell is gonna happen after he's flailing, flailing the pistol around. But I got to hold a Glock, and. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully Mac comes back shortly. But I imagine they're just going to like the general compartment where you have to be like fully clothed to uh, to check it out. In the meantime, I'm gonna be chilling here. Uh, yeah. See what happens when Mac comes back. So we walked through like eight train cars and like... I got like, as soon as you left, I got nervous. Like I was yeah. like, fuck. Well, like, that was when like, the anxiety started kicking. It hasn't kicked yeah, in yeah. at all, but then I'm like, oh, now we're like separated. And... Well, cause like I'm, like, I'm trying to tell him like, no, like he takes me through like the food car, and then like he's walking up to like all the the women in there, just like America, America, and like like saying something. I think he was being welcoming. Yeah. Like, I think he was like he had good intentions, but like, we went through another car, and I was like, no, I want to go back, I want to go back, but he just wasn't understanding me. And then like we kept going, and he was like stopping, like find English speakers that didn't actually speak English, and then they'd be like, type what you need, or something, and then I'd type, I don't know what I'm doing, and then. Like everyone would be confused and I'd be like, oh, I want to go back and he'd like grab my hand and like keep pulling me oh, through the car and I was like, no, no, like, like literally all these cars are filled with people. Everyone, like there's like 60 people all staring at me wondering what's going on and I'm like, mad again, I'm mad again. Like it was. Yeah, that's just a recipe yeah, for disaster. Yeah. And like there's a reason why he didn't tell me, he told me not to bring my camera, you know. Yeah. I don't know, it was just weird. Kind of went back to the thing like. Which like, it probably was like, it had good intentions, but like. Yeah, yeah. For like, um, like an American, like. I don't know, people are 50-50 with Americans here. Right, right. Like like some it, may hate me, some like, may love me. Exactly. You know, like All you need is just like one person. Yeah, that's gonna hit, oh. yeah. And like, it, even like if it was to do that with an Australian, it's just like you don't want like all that attention. Right, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I doubt many foreigners have ever ridden this train. Exactly, like, yeah. Because yeah. we're probably like a handful of people. Yeah, yeah. And you could tell that like people were just, like people were confused because they were like, what is this guy? You yeah. Know, like, this, a guy in the military was like grabbing me by the hand, like pulling me through there. It was weird. Keep in mind though, like the, I don't know if you told them on the vlog, but like we were. Oh, in I here. said it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were in here, and all of a sudden he puts his pistol through the door. <laughs> a Glock. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, bro. And I open it, and then and then he comes in and he's still holding the pistol at me. And I'm like, and he was like, he was aim Oh, I didn't, I didn't say that part. Yeah. He, he was like aiming it at yeah, Max man, legs. Like my leg. Yeah. And I'm like, stop, stop. And like he wasn't understanding. Like I had a gun drawn on me, so I was already super anxious walking through yeah. there. And yeah, like. 
That, yeah, yeah. I know we probably meant it in like good whatever, but like that the gun thing was too far. Yeah. You know. So moral of the story. Of Even as an American, that's too far. Yeah. yeah. With guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, in America, we don't hold guns to each other. Yeah, I think yeah, that's like, joke. dude, like ever, never, no, n- no. a gun never gets pointed to anybody no, in no. any situation. Yeah, yeah. That that scared me. All right, guys, it's about midnight right now. Me and Mac have finally started to go and get some sleep. But we've already, uh... Yeah, stupid light switch. <laughs> the light switch isn't working. I was like, are they gonna cut us a break now? We've had a gun held up to us. Just let us turn the lights <laughs> off already. Yeah, buddy, the light doesn't work. It's just been overused, so it doesn't press or anything. Everything else works. Um, I made a makeshift light blocker. I don't know how well that'll work. And if you've got a COVID mask, you can do one of these. Hey, they are finally come in handy for yeah, once. No, finally, exactly. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. I <laughs> can do that. <laughs> Alright, we just got to knock on the... Uh, knock on the door. 4 a.m. And we're almost, almost in Basra. God knows what we're gonna do when we arrive at like 4.30 or 5. <laughs> Welcome to Basra, everybody. Where the local time is 4.24 a.m. That's us done. Let's see what happens when we get out of this cabin. Probably a gun to our heads or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come in with us, boys. <laughs> People are getting off. Yalla. Oh. Alright. Back on the legs. Get them moving again. We're greeted with the taxi mafia. Ooh. Uh, what, are, what are you thinking? Taxi quick? Uh, la la. Taxi? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, la. We uh, Taxi, shabab. Yeah, we go to uh, Castle Hotel. Fundur? Yeah. Yeah. Was going to know it with you. Oh, oh, English. Yes, oh, you speak yes. English? Oh, yes. perfect. Shway, shway. Shway, 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 yeah. shway Arabic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll show you. Hey, Tanya. You look on the map. Shall I walk on? Yeah, I think so. Somewhere there. You want to hug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I jump. Hug. Where is Shall I walk on? With the Jordan. Salam alaikum. Salam. Habibi. 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 Kifo. How much? How much? Dinar, dinar. Dinar. Come here, it's come Iraqi? Yeah, Iraqi. Seven thousand. Five thousand. Yalla. Yalla. Shukran, Habibi. Habibi, Inter. All right, first thoughts on Basra, everybody. Super good temperature, friendly people. And uh, yeah, let's chuck our bags in here. That's the train experience, Mac, apart from having a gun pointed at your legs. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, what else happened? I think that was the only negative, really. Everything <laughs> yeah. else, I think it was all in good fun, though. So don't let that <laughs> yeah. deter you. But uh, yeah, I reckon 10 out of 10. Got a little bit of sleep. Arrived pretty early in the morning. But we are going to head to the hotel. Going to get a uh, video done of our first impressions here in Basra in, uh, in a little while after a little bit of a catch up on some sleep. So uh, once that happens, you'll see that one uh, come out shortly so thanks so much for watching the video everybody as always chase dreams and we'll see you all in the next one yalla